Hey, Bianca, are you going to be on time today for me to pick Sarah up for once? Hey, Thomas. Yeah, I'm really sorry about the last time. I just got really caught up with the restaurant and had a hard time getting mom to pick her up. There was a tornado that day, remember? Yeah, yeah. Tornado. Whatever. I still don't see why you couldn't have just gone around it. Um, right. Well, anyway, it won't happen again. Unless, well, there's an act of God. So I'll be there with her at 6. And she'll actually be ready this time. Because last time, I had to wait like 15 minutes for her to be ready. Yes, she'll be ready, I promise. Good. Because Nora got us reservations at DiMaggio's at 7 and we can't be late. Oh, so you aren't even going to be spending time with her tonight? Well, I'm taking her to my mom's while we're having dinner. But then I will be later. And after that, of course. But 9 is her bedtime. She'll be asleep. Well, it's Friday night and she'll be with her dad. She can stay up a little later than that. Well, okay, but no later than 10, please. Her circadian rhythms are very sensitive. Hey, she's my kid too. I think I can tell her when she can stay up late or not. Fine, Thomas, just please make sure that she eats this weekend, okay? What are you talking about? She always eats. Are you implying that I don't feed her or something? No, I'm not implying that at all. Why are you jumping down my throat today? Well, good, because she certainly does eat when she's here. She probably eats way better than she does at your house. Oh, really? And why would you say that? Well, uh, Nora is going to bring her some of her lobster leftovers tonight. Thomas, she's eight. She's not interested in lobster. She likes chicken tenders and fries. Chicken tenders and fries? Uh, excuse me, but no child of mine is going to live on chicken tenders and fries. I didn't say that. She lives on chicken tenders and fries. Just that's what she prefers to have if we're going out to eat. Well, that's just not going to happen. Sorry. Fine, just make sure that your mother feeds her, okay? Or in fact, I'll just pack her something. You are not packing our daughter's food before she comes to my house. Well, what do you have there? Everything she could possibly want. And anything healthy? Of course. Nora is a health freak, you know that? She is the body fat percentage of a Caspian tiger. Is that... is that a good thing? I don't know. Ugh, I hate this. I hate this so much, Thomas. You have absolutely no idea. What do you hate? Hate what? I hate the fact that you and I still fight. I hate the fact that Sarah has to have parents who fight all the time, even when they aren't together. Well, whose fault is that? It's both of our faults. It always has been. There's no way any of this is my fault. Well, maybe there's some truth to that. Maybe it was nobody's fault. We just weren't meant to be. Nothing's meant to be, Bianca. Things either happen or they don't. Well, can you make sure that something that does happen is that our child eats this weekend? Yes, of course. I'll feed our daughter. What kind of monster do you think I am? Sheesh. And make sure that she sleeps, too. I don't want her to be grouchy and uncooperative all week because her father lets her stay up all night. Whatever. I'm done with the insults. She just better be ready, okay? You understand? Oh yeah, I understand, your highness. Your daughter will be ready at your beck and call. As you wish. Well, hello there, beautiful. How are you this beautiful Friday night? What do you want, Terry? Hey, hey, hey. Just take it easy. I'm not trying to scare you or anything. You better not be, because you remember what happened last time, don't you? No, remind me. My brother almost kicked your ass. Almost being the operative terms in that statement. He only didn't because you ran away. Whatever. Look, I just want to talk. Why can't we still be friends? I'm not looking to get back together or anything. What's there to talk about? You know, friend stuff. How your day was, what TV shows you're watching, stuff like that. You're forgetting one thing, though. We aren't friends, Terry, and we never will be. And I just don't understand why not. Why can't we be? I mean, the past is the past, right? Yeah, maybe for you. You have the memory of a gerbil. But as for me, I still remember everything you put me through. Everything you put me and Sarah through. And I will never, ever forget it. Like what? I don't understand why you're being so sensitive. Why did you ever? Terry, what you did to me was unforgivable, and you know it. We had an understanding, Bianca. We've been over this. An understanding? Yeah. Plus, I mean, 
I was doing a lot of coke at the time, you know. Which is something I only found out later when you crashed your car into that donut shop full of cops. Now, what are the odds of that even happening? Would you tell me? Pretty good, actually. Well, whatever. I think it's about time that you forgive me, don't you? It's been years already. Exactly, dude. It's been years. So how about you just get a freaking life already and move on? I don't want anything to do with you, don't you? Like anything? So we can't even just have coffee every once in a while? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be insensitive or anything, but are you dense? What do you mean? Okay, did you maybe hit your head or something? Fall off your bicycle? No. What are you talking about? Did that terrier get you wrapped up in his leash again? And you fell and hit your head on the sidewalk? No, of course not. At least not that I can remember. Well, of course not. Why would you? Well, I don't get it. We had some good times, right? Yes, Terry, we did. But then you got all weird on me and then you did what you did. I was a different person then. I promise. I really cleaned up my act. I've been going to meetings and I've been going to church with my grandma. Oh, church with your grandma, huh? And you think that's going to help your cause? Well, I don't know. I'm just trying to prove to you that I've changed. But I don't care if you've changed. Don't you get it? You're a creep. And I'm ashamed of myself for not seeing it before. Oh, I'm the creep? Yeah, who else? Well, how about that other ex of yours? Thomas? And why is he the creep? I saw him. I see where he goes. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? No, seriously, hey, what are you talking about? Where he goes? What did you see? Nothing. Nothing at all. It must have been a dream. Stop it, Terry. I'm in no mood for your games. No games here. I don't play games anymore. Look, just leave me alone, okay? Even if I know something about your daughter's daddy that you may want to know? Considering that I think you're full of crap? Yes, Terry. But wait, I'm not though. Hey, Monica, what's up? Oh, Bianca, I knew it was you. Oh, really? Did you know? Well, uh, I, at least I think I did. It felt sort of like I did. I thought I saw a big bee in my head. Kind of looks like animal balloons. So the psychosis is going well then? Psychokinesis, not psychosis. Oh, right, right, sorry. I always get those two confused. Well, it's going fine, thank you very much. I just guessed three out of the six lottery numbers. Guessed? Don't you mean telepathy or something? Oh, right. Well, I'm still working on it, okay? But I think I'm doing pretty well considering. Right, sure. Anyway, what about you? How you doing? I don't know, you tell me. Okay, that's enough already. All right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, not so hot, to be perfectly honest with you. In fact, downright crappy. Oh no, what's going on? Well, my baby's daddy is a complete and total dick. When he does see Sarah, he dumps her off at his mom's house to go to a fancy restaurant with his Russian girlfriend. Wait, she's Russian? I didn't know that. He claims that she's the daughter of some exiled Russian oligarch. Oh yeah, Shara, I've heard that one before. You have? Where? Um, I don't know, somewhere? Well, he doesn't care at all what Sarah eats, doesn't care if she sleeps. He's just a total dick to me. How so? Well, he's always bringing up the past for one. How our relationship ended, why it ended, blah, blah, blah. Ugh, boring. Exactly. But when he does and when we start fighting about it, he, of course, still takes absolutely zero responsibility for any of it. Even after all these years? Yep. But then I got another one. Another what? Another man's problem. Who? Terry. Wow, that's a blast from the past. Well, it certainly doesn't feel like it's been that long. He clearly hasn't moved on. Is he still a super creep? Much worse, obviously. Oh, come on. He just needs to meet the right girl. Or the right caseworker. The guy is certifiable. He wants to be friends. He wants to talk about our day and TV shows. TV shows, huh? Yeah, I mean, I don't even really watch TV. Oh, come on. That's not true. You watch those snobby shows on PBS? Well, okay, yeah, I do watch some of those. So what? I doubt that Terry would be interested in watching those with me anyway. Oh, really? He wouldn't? Okay, on second thought, maybe he would. Well, what did you do about all this? Well, he told me he's been going to church with his grandma, and I asked if he'd recently suffered a head injury. Oh, that's mean. I asked purely out of humanist concern. Oh, is that a fact? That's my story. But still, he said something very weird at the end there. What did he say? 
Well, he said, or implied, I don't know that he'd been following Thomas and he'd seen him do something untoward. Untoward? Yeah, something creepy, I guess. I don't know. It was weird. I'm sure he's full of crap. Well, it sounds like you're stuck between two toxic men. Don't say toxic. That word is so overused right now. Okay, they're just classic dicks. That's better. Bianca, I need your help with Sarah. Oh no, what's the problem? She's all upset. She won't stop crying. And she won't tell me why. Well, what happened? I don't know. She was outside playing and then she just came running and screaming. I have no idea. Okay, well, have you checked for any visible injuries? Um, no, I haven't done that. Okay, well, why don't you do that? That would be the first step, Thomas. Okay, okay. Jeez, what do I know about this? I'm not her mom. No, but you are her dad. What are you saying? I don't love my kid or something? Will you please just check and see if she has any injuries? Okay, okay, fine. Hold on. Well? No, I don't see anything. Okay, well, where's Nora? What do you mean, where's Nora? Um, I mean the being that is Nora. And where is her location? So, wait, are you implying that she had something to do with whatever is wrong with Sarah? No, no, of course not. That's not at all what I'm saying. I mean, at least it's not what I think I'm saying. Okay, then what the heck are you saying? Damn it, Thomas. I'm just trying to figure out what happened to my daughter. Okay, well, fine. Why don't you just talk to her yourself, then? Actually, you know what? That's a really good idea. In fact, I don't know why I didn't just ask to talk to her before. Because you're stupid, that's why. How dare you? I cannot believe you just said that to me. Well, I said it. So what the hell are you going to do about it now, woman? Woman? You're pushing your luck, Thomas. I mean it. I swear, if you say one more thing like that to me, you're going to regret it. Yeah, well... I mean it, Thomas. Fine, fine. Okay. So would you please just put her on the phone? That would be great. Because I love my daughter and want to make sure she isn't dying, okay? Oh, jeez. She isn't dying. Would you take it easy? Just put her on the damn phone! All right, all right. Jeez. Just hold on a second. Mommy! Hi, honey. How are you? What's wrong? Daddy told me that you're upset about something and you won't tell him what happened. I was on my bike and I was going down the sidewalk and this black hat went running across my path. Oh, okay, honey. Well, so what? That cat won't hurt you. But it's bad luck. Don't you get it? Don't you know that it's bad luck? It's just like going under ladders and cracking a mirror. Oh, honey, that's just a silly superstition. Nothing bad is going to happen to you because of the black cat. But something bad already did happen. Well, what happened, honey? If something bad happens, then you need to tell me right away. Well, right when the black cat crossed my path, I swerved my bike to miss him, and then I crashed my bike. You crashed? Where? Down the street by the water tower. The water tower? But that's half a while away from your daddy's house. Yeah, I made it all the way down there by myself, too. But where did you fall? On the grass? The street? The sidewalk? On the sidewalk. And some grass, too. Well, are you hurt? Daddy said that he looked you over and you weren't hurt. Well, I did hit my head. You hit your head? What did you hit it on? The sidewalk. Oh my god, Sarah. What? Am I okay? Am I dying? Oh, sweetie, no, no, of course not. You had your helmet on, so I'm sure that you're going to be just fine. Uh, yep. Honey, you did have your helmet on, right? The helmet Grandma and Grandpa got you for Christmas? Yes, my Hello Kitty helmet. I love my Hello Kitty helmet. Sarah, are you lying to me right now? Yeah. You're just like your father sometimes in ways that scare me, Sarah. So Daddy didn't make you wear one? No, he said it wasn't a big deal since I was over at his house for the weekend. Oh, he did, did he? Is that what he said, Sarah? Yep, and he said that helmets are stupid and they don't even do anything and that he never wore one when he was a kid. And now look at him, he's fine. Um, right, dear. Your father? Fine. Well, I'm tired. 
I think I'm gonna go take a nap. No, honey, you can't sleep if you've had a head injury. But I'm tired. I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to tough it out for right now, okay? Can you be brave for me, sweetheart? No. Okay. Well, can you at least try for me? <sighs> okay. I'll try. Great. Now, why didn't you tell your dad about what happened? Can you tell me? I just didn't want to do it at all. But surely there must be a reason why, sweetheart. No, there isn't. My head hurt and I just didn't feel like talking about it. So you were embarrassed, maybe? I said I don't want to talk about it. Okay, okay, sweetie. Well, I'm going to go talk to Daddy about you getting checked out, and it'll be all right, okay? Getting checked out? Well, yes. We need to take you to the hospital to get your head checked out. To make sure that you're okay is all. No, I don't want to go to the hospital. I hate the hospital. That's where they kill Grandma. No, honey. Bowel cancer killed Grandma. The hospital is just where she died. But you said I'm not going to die. No, you aren't going to die if you don't fall asleep. Wait, that came out wrong, sweetie. What? So if I fall asleep, I'm going to die? No, no, that's not what I meant. So you lied to me, Mommy? No, no, I didn't lie to you, sweetheart. Look, could you please put your daddy back on, okay? Please? Okay, fine, fine. And just go sit down. But don't lie down, all right? Do what your mama tells you, okay? Yes, Mom. Okay, sweetheart. It'll be all right. Just put your daddy back on now. I need to find out some things from him. Okay, so what's the problem? I cannot believe this, Thomas. What? What's wrong? What did she say? Do you have any idea where she's been? Did you have any idea what happened? Why was she crying? Well, she stopped crying. So what's the difference? Thanks, by the way. Look at her head! Examine it! What? I already did. Did you pull her head back to look? Well, no. Okay, well, do it! Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What happened? Well, I tried to touch it and she jerked away and went screaming out of the room. Oh my god. Wait, ew! Ew? What ew? Oh god, I have blood on my fingers. Her head is bleeding? I think... I think it's dried. Oh god, I hate blood. Well, you need to go find her right now, Thomas. Nora's in there with her, or they're getting some ice to put on her head. Oh god, I have to wash my hands right now. So you didn't think to pull her hair back, Thomas? Well, she would hardly let me get near her. And I wonder why that is. Huh? What does that mean? Seriously, what the hell do you mean by that, Bianca? I mean, maybe you should ask yourself why your daughter isn't comfortable around you. Why she wouldn't be comfortable telling you she was hurt. Well, how should I know? And why in God's name was she half a mile from your house, riding her bike with no helmet? What? She... she was a half a mile from the house? She said that it happened all the way down by the water tower. Well, what happened exactly? She fell off her bike, trying to avoid a black cat from crossing her path. Trying to avoid bad luck. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess it didn't work, huh? Maybe it would have been if her father had been responsible and done what he was supposed to do and made her wear a helmet. Well, I didn't even know she was riding her bike. Exactly, Thomas. Exactly. It seems like whenever she's at your house, it's like the Lord of the Flies over there. Hey, Nora watches her too. Ugh, whatever. Don't even bring her name up to me. Well, you're one to talk. What does that mean? Well, it's not like you had very good taste in man after me either. With that psycho you dated after. Well, hey, guess what? I got away from that psycho. You're still with Nora. Yeah, well, that's not what I heard. What do you mean? Sarah told me. She told you what? Sarah told me that that guy Terry still bothers you. He does, doesn't he? Well, sometimes, but I wouldn't say he bothers me. Does he bother Sandra? What? No. Because if he does, we're going to have big problems. Do you hear me? Yeah, and we're going to have big problems if my kid gets hurt at your house again. Do you understand? Then just keep that creep away from her. Do you understand? 
Oh, I see. So you're losing control of the argument, so you're turning it back on me, huh? What? No. No, I'm not. Whatever, Thomas. I'll just meet you at the hospital, okay? Wait, why? Because Sarah needs to be checked out. She hit her head and she's bleeding. She could have brain damage, for God's sake. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, what hospital? I don't know, Thomas. The closest one? Well, um, Medview is about 10 minutes, but Children's is only a few more. Maybe we should just go there. Yes, fine. I'll meet you there. Hey, Bianca. What's up? <sighs> Damn it, Terry. Not now. I do not have time for your crap. Crap? What crap are you talking about? I'm not going to give you any crap. I just want to talk. We have nothing to talk about, Terry. I'm in the back of an Uber. Well, why are you in an Uber? I could have given you a lift anywhere you wanted to go. Because my car is in the shop and I have to get to the hospital right away. Well, even better then. Is it even better that I'm going to the hospital? I'm just saying that if you were going to the hospital, calling me would be a lot faster than taking an Uber. Terry, please, just leave me alone, okay? But what's wrong though? Why are you going to the hospital? It's nothing. It's just Sarah. She fell off her bike. Oh no, that's awful. Kids can be so clumsy. You didn't push her off or anything, did you? What? No, you only let me meet her, like once. Gee, I wonder why that was the smartest decision I ever made in regard to our relationship, except it ending. Whatever. So maybe I'll just meet you down there then. What? Why would you meet me at the hospital? Just to, you know, talk and stuff while you wait. Keep you company. You can end up waiting a long time at these hospitals. No, it's fine. Believe me. Oh, so you won't be alone? What hospital is it? Children, I bet, huh? What? Terry, I'm not telling you anything. Okay, yeah, it's children's. Is their dad going to be there too? That Thomas dude? I said I'm not telling you anything. I'll take that as a yes. Guess I'll be seeing you soon then. No, no you won't. You won't. Monica, where are you? Hey Bianca, what's up? I just got out of my new psychic reading class. It was pretty cool. I think I'm starting to feel it, you know? Don't tell me, don't tell me. You're wearing a blue blouse today, aren't you? Well, yes, actually I am. You see, I knew it. But listen to me, Monica. I'm in big trouble. Oh no, I didn't sense that. What's wrong? Well, Sarah fell off her bike and hit her head while she was at Thomas's. And now we're at the hospital. What? Oh my god, is she okay? Yeah, they think so. Probably she's banged up, but she wasn't wearing her helmet, so they wanted to check her out. Her helmet? Why wasn't she wearing a helmet? Because a certain someone, a certain irresponsible ex-husband of mine, didn't make sure she was wearing it. That's why. Ugh. But I need your help now. I have a whole other problem to contend with. Well, what? Terry. Terry is on his way to the hospital. What? Terry? Why? I don't know. He says he wants to talk. I have no idea. He's crazy, Monica. Well, do you think he could be violent? I don't know, but now that he has all three of us here together, there's no saying. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't know. Just get down here as fast as you can, okay? Okay, wait. How did he figure out where you were? I may have inadvertently told him where I was going, sort of. Ugh, Bianca, you're so easily manipulated. I know, I know. I'm trying to get better at it, okay? Hey, babe, you okay? They said I can come up and see you soon. They said you were awake. What the? Oh man, what happened? Well, didn't they tell you? They told me I was in a car accident outside the hospital. Not just any car accident. You were in a car accident with Terry. Wait, what? You remember that Terry was coming to the hospital? That's why I told you to meet me there. I guess so, yeah. Well, somehow you two got into a crash in the parking lot. What? Oh, oh wait a minute. Is it coming back to you now? Wait, am I okay? Yeah, they said it was just a concussion. You'll be fine. God, I could barely move. I'm so sore. Oh, yeah. You might have cracked a couple ribs, too. But you should see the other guy. Terry, why? Is he okay? 
I don't know. Maybe it depends on your definition of okay. He's okay with me. Well, wait, what do you mean? It's just so weird how it all happened. You two plowing into each other where there were no cameras. Wait, hold on. I remember now. Forget about it. We'll talk about it later, Monica. When you're feeling better. In the meantime, Sarah is going to be okay. You're more beat up than her. Oh, that's good. Um, what happened to her again? She fell off her bike, remember? Oh, right. And it's already shown to Thomas that he just can't handle her. So he's thinking of giving me full custody. But that's what you wanted, right? Of course it is. So thanks, Monica. You're a great friend. Um, okay, well, I really don't remember what I did, but you're welcome. Don't worry. I'll tell you all about it someday. Thomas gave up custody of Sarah to Bianca, and he still sees her regularly, just without the stress of staying over visits. Because of this, their relationship is much stronger. Bianca never found out what Derek meant by Thomas being a creep, but chalked it all up to more of his macho head games. Monica got out of the hospital and eventually regained her memory. She remembered seeing Derek's Jeep enter the parking lot and head towards the entrance. She also remembers her own car, seemingly of its own accord plowing directly into his. His medically induced coma was short-lived, and he was soon able to breathe on his own. It was a bit of overkill, Monica thought, but all's well that ends well. <laughs>